Yo, 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 it's your boy Zerk. And today, Professor Nipples out here destroying people's self-esteem with a machine. Man got a $300,000 lab looking like he about to launch a space shuttle just to tell people they fat. Your body fat percentage is 33%. Bro looked at the screen like his wife just texted him, we need to talk. So left his body, started questioning everything. Maybe I am trash. Maybe my life is a lie. Jeff's standing there with a clipboard like, sir, the machine has spoken. You are guilty of being chunky. Court adjourned. But here's the thing. I did research on these DEXA scans, and bro, these machines are lying. They're making shit up. They got a margin of error bigger than my rent payment. Jeff Nipples basically using a very expensive random number generator and calling it science. So today, we exposing the truth, because Jeff Nipphart really scanned 100 people, gave them fake numbers, and called it a documentary. Nah, bruh. All right, so first off, Jeff Nipples got people coming in fasted. Then he lays them on this table that look like it's from Area 51. Machine starts beeping, lasers shooting through their body, and Jeff's standing over him like, don't worry, this won't hurt. Then the number pops up, and Jeff delivers it like he's a judge, 28.4%. Not 28%, not around 28%, nah, 28.4%. Because that .4 makes it sound official, makes it sound like science. That's like a psychic saying, I see you will meet a tall man, six foot two and three quarters. Bitch, you just guessing with decimals. And people in the comments having breakdowns. Oh my God, I thought I was 15%, but I'm actually 33%. My whole life is a lie. Calm down, bro. The machine might be wrong by 10%. You could be 28% or 38%. The machine basically shrugged and picked a number. But Jeff treating it like the word of God. The DEXA has spoken. You are fat. Go forth and do cardio. Man, get out of here. Let me explain how DEXA works without sounding like a nerd. It shoots x-rays through your body. Different stuff absorbs different amounts. Bone, muscle, fat. Then the computer does math. Sounds legit, right? But here's the problem. The machine assumes your muscle is 73% water. Always. Doesn't ask you. Doesn't check. Just assumes. So if you dehydrate it, too bad. Machine says you 73% water anyway. Now, your fat percentage inflated. If you drank a gallon of water that morning, too bad. Machine still says 73% water. Now your fat percentage deflated. It's like going to a restaurant and the waiter just assumes you want medium rare. But I want it well done. Too bad. The system says medium rare. Eat it. And if you drink 500 milliliters of water before your scan, your body fat percentage drops by like 2 to 3%. So you could walk in hydrated on Monday and be 15%. Then walk in dehydrated on Tuesday and be 18%. Same body, different water, different number. Dexa Daddy Jeff should have called this video what body fat looks like if you drink the same amount of water as me at the same time of day on the same machine with the same software version. But that don't get clicks, do it. Now this is where it gets nasty. There's two ways to calibrate a DEXA machine. One, classic calibration, the accurate one. Two, N-H-A-N-E-S, the government one that's trash. And N-H, it overestimates body fat by 5%, especially if you got muscle. So if Jeff used N-H, he basically told everyone they're 5% fatter than they actually are. That dude who came in at 33% might be 28%. Jeff himself at 9%? might be 4%. Man might be stage ready and don't even know it. Out here looking like an anatomy chart talking about, I'm bulking. But did Jeff mention which calibration he used? Nope. Just scanned people and gave them numbers like he's Moses coming down from the mountain with the commandments. Thou art 32% body fat. Now go forth and do cardio. Man, get out of here. So Jeff Nipples said DEXA is very accurate. But what he didn't mention is the individual error rate is four to 10%. Four to 10%. That's the difference between I'm lean and I'm pregnant. So when Mr. Nips tells you you're 20%, you could be 16% or 24%. That's like your bank saying you got $1,000 in your account, 
give or take for 100. Bro, that ain't helpful. I need to know if I could afford this meal or if I'm about to get declined at Chipotle. But Jeff acting like these numbers are facts. You're 28.4%. Nah, bro, I'm somewhere between 24% and 33%. Thanks for narrowing it down to a 9% range. Real helpful. And people believed them. They in the comments like, I got to lose 15 pounds to get to 20%. Bro, you might already be 20%, or you might be 35%. The machine don't know shit. It's basically throwing darts at a board. Sometimes it hits, sometimes it misses. Now, this is where it gets even worse. Baya, that handheld thing Jeff Nip also used, it sends a little electric shock through your body to measure fat. You've seen these. They at every gym look like a Game Boy from 1992. And the error rate, 4 to 6% up to 8% if you're muscular. So if you actually lift, this thing is just making shit up. And it gets worse. If you work out before using Baya, it adds 12 kilos to your lean mass. 12 kilos, that's 26 pounds. So you could lift weights, then scan yourself, and the machine says, congratulations, you just gained 26 pounds of muscle in one hour. Bro, if that was true, we'd all be jacked. we just work out and scan ourselves all day. But Jeff used both DEXA and Baya and acted like, see, they match. This confirms it. Nah, bruh. That's like asking two drunk dudes for directions. And because they both said turn left, you think they right. They both lost, bruh. You still going the wrong way. Here's another one. Different DEXA machines give different results. Even machines from the same company, even if you update the software. So Jeff's machine says you 18%. Your Jim's machine says 23%. Same body, same day, different machine, different assa. That's like getting on one scale and you 180 pounds, then getting on another scale and you 200 pounds. One of them lying or they both lying. Either way, you don't actually know what you weigh. But Jeff compared his results to the average American from government data collected years ago on different machines. Bro, that's like me saying I'm richer than the average person in 1985. Cool story, but we are 2025 and inflation exists, and you're comparing apples to pterodons. Only 2% of American men are below 15% body fat. Based on what? What machine? What year? What calibration? But Jeff just threw that stat out and people ran with it. Wow, I'm in the top 2%. Nah, bro. You in the top 2% of people scanned on one specific machine with one specific calibration in one specific year. Congratulations. Here's your ribbon. All right, real talk. Jeff's video is useful for seeing what body fat levels look like. That part, helpful. But those numbers, they trash. Don't trust them. Here's what you need to know. One, these numbers are guesses with a 4 to 10% error rate. That's huge. Two, use the mirror. It don't have a margin of error. You either look good or you don't. Three, how you feel matters more. You strong, energized, happy, then who cares what the machine says? Four, don't compare your scan to anyone else's. Different machines, different days, different results. Five, stop stressing over decimals. Jeff said 28.4 like it means something. It doesn't. You could be 24%. You could be 35%. The machine is basically flipping a coin. At the end of the day, body fat percentage is just a number that a machine made up based on assumptions. It don't mean shit in the real world. Jeff's video looks scientific, got lasers and computers and shit, but under all that, it's basically a fortune cookie. I'm Zerk. Stay skeptical. And remember, just because it got lasers don't mean it's accurate. Peace.